In the industrial plasma cutting market, there are numerous cutting system manufacturers that offer customized cutting solutions based on their customers' requirements. However, with any mechanized installation, there is usually a basic set of guidelines that should be followed when first starting up your cutting system. In this short video, we will highlight the proper safety measures and power-up sequence for a typical mechanized cutting table. Always refer to your manual if there are any safety concerns or questions when using hypertherm plasma equipment. To begin, reference your company's cutting system's pre-power checklist. When turning on any type of industrial equipment, safety is the most important factor to take into consideration for you and other personnel. With most mechanized plasma systems, there are several components that make up a cutting system, which include a cutting table, a power supply, the CNC, electrical cables and connections, torch and gas connections, and motors and drive components. Each element of the cutting system can present its own hazard, which is why a pre-power checklist should be performed each day prior to startup. Let's go over some things that should be addressed prior to using the cutting system. Starting off, ensure all table hardware is in good shape, with no signs of damage present. Examine the table slats, bridge, rails, cables, and lifter assembly. Examine the electrical disconnect box and establish the power is turned on and that there are no electrical lockout tags preventing power up of the table or controller. Remove the torch head and inspect or replace consumables if needed. Move to the gas supply and verify that the proper gases are being used for the cutting process. Inspect gas regulators and gas connections and make sure gas pressures are appropriate. If leaks are present, always repair them prior to startup. As mentioned earlier, safety is a critical part of any table operation and should not be overlooked. Always refer to your machine supplier, along with local regulations for your specific safety requirements. Here are some safety precaution guidelines that should be followed prior to startup. Before starting the cutting process, verify that no obstacles or personnel are near the cutting system. Obtain the proper shaded eye protection for the cutting process being performed. Please review the safety section of the manual provided with your cutting system for proper eye protection requirements. And verify that there are no flammable substances near or around the cutting area before you begin. Now that you have established all safety measures, let's begin with a typical startup sequence for an operator when first turning on the cutting system. Turn the CNC on and make sure the system is operational. There should be no errors on the CNC after startup. Check that all e-stops are disabled and verify that the table has been activated from your operating station. It is good practice to home the table and lifter assembly to establish accuracy while also testing table movement. Always review your nesting file and confirm the correct nest is loaded prior to starting the cut program. When the nest is loaded onto the CNC, establish that system setup is correct. Examine the amperage, gas pressure settings, and arc voltage, among other settings. Test the ventilation system for proper operation. Toxic fumes can accumulate and pose a health risk to all personnel in the area. If a water table is being used, check the water level for proper depth. The water level should be at least 2 to 3 inches below the material while cutting. Finally, make a test cut prior to cutting a large nest. Performing a test cut prior to your main nesting projects is standard best practice. Select a simple shape from the parts library of the CNC and make a test cut on some scrap material. This will allow the operator to examine cut quality prior to cutting a large nest of parts. Change any parameters and repeat the process until the desired cut quality is achieved. This step will minimize costly material waste. This concludes the Mechanized Table Startup Tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please go to our website at hypertherm.com.